This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at calculating the energy released in nuclear reactions. We'll start by looking at a nuclear fusion reaction. In this reaction, two isotopes of hydrogen, that's deuterium and tritium, react together to form helium and a neutron. By calculating the total mass of the reactants and the total mass of the products, we can calculate the mass defect. So when we subtract the mass of the products from the mass of the reactants, we get our mass defect. This mass defect is given in unified atomic mass units, which we can convert to kilograms. Next, we can use the equation E equals mc squared to calculate the energy released in the fusion reaction. In this equation, m is the mass defect in kilograms and c is the speed of light. So the mass defect was 3.23 times 10 to the negative 29 kilograms, and we multiply this by the speed of light squared, which gives us 2.91 times 10 to the negative 12 joules. This is the energy released in the fusion of one helium nucleus. To calculate the energy released for one mole of helium nuclei, we multiply the value for one nucleus by the Avogadro constant to give us 1.75 times 10 to the 9 kilojoules per mole. Next, we will calculate the energy released in a nuclear fission reaction. In this reaction, we have the nuclear fission of uranium-235. The products are barium-141, krypton-92 and 3 neutrons. If we subtract the mass of the products from the mass of the reactants, we get the mass defect, which we can then convert to kilograms. Next, we'll use the equation E equals mc squared to calculate the energy released in the fission reaction. So we multiply our mass defect in kilograms by the speed of light squared, which gives us 2.78 times 10 to the negative 11 joules. This is the energy released during the fission of one atom of uranium-235. For one mole of uranium-235, we multiply the value for one atom by the Avogadro constant to give us 1.67 times 10 to the 10 kilojoules per mole. 